Hey guys, how's it going? I am going to try to do this video again. I've tried a few times over the past week or two uh, with not much luck. I've noticed that it does have a reasonable uh, voltage drain. So I've just been letting it sit for quite a few days. It's actually not bad. Yeah, that's actually really good I guess okay I'm gonna say that there's not actually a real problem uh, it's just you know it's just normal drain like this guy's draining a tiny bit and uh, this this 50 amp BMS is definitely draining so I can't remember what I have and haven't shown you guys yet I'm uh, working I finished up my green ones now I'm no, I'm still working on the greens, and most of them are pretty terrible. Um, actually, no. I'm working on this color of green. I'm kind of colorblind. But all these in an entire row now is full of ones that have gone bad. So, that's, um, or they're not bad, but they're very, very low. And I've only found a few good ones. So, no big deal. Yeah, it works. It works good. Um, I have no heat problems at all, even with this very long, very, very long. Let's see, uh, the other one's short. Um, the negative terminal side that the BMS is hooked up to, it gets slightly warm, but that's about it. I put a little heat sink on there just in case. But if you're not charging the BM through the BMS, then uh, it seems to create no heat, which is good. And I'm, I'm running like almost 900 watts out of the 1500, so it's a pretty good, pretty good go. Um, I'd like to do a practicality test, like, you know, run my computer off of this guy, see if it, how long it would survive. Um, playing a video game that'd be that'd be kind of fun it's, um, let's see it's dropping pretty quick I know that there's a few of these that definitely have um, have to be replaced they probably have high impedance or high internal resistance inside them which uh, would be a problem this guy um, you know same as before no, no change. You can watch my other videos to uh, see me uh, testing that. So my next my next plan, now that I've tested, I'm happy with the 50 amp BMS, and I'm going to stick with that. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the 20 amp anymore. I'd rather have the 50 amp plus as a sensor on it. Um, it's just... And <clears throat> another thing is I was able to solder in these big thick um, braided cables I think with my heating problem it's at these connectors here if I soldered this to this wire here instead of just you know uh, pressure contact the the heat up uh, would be not nearly as severe yeah, it's it gets slightly warm so it's it's definitely like I'm, I'm happy with it actually and also see one wire per one of these so if I had them all soldered together in one ball instead of separated that's to one wire that's to the other of these guys <clears throat> if I had them both together then I, I doubt there would be as much uh, heat build up so my next my next plan I'm still working on um, filling up this I may have to buy even more laptop batteries because I can't even do a full board unfortunately even though I have all of these down here you can't really see actually uh, I have all of those and uh, they'll make a, a power wall of their own no problem but uh, it'll only be three amp hour yeah they'll be three amp hour at most and these ones I'm trying to go for like four to six amp hours only. And I'm not 
I'm not close to being finished yet, which is really unfortunate. The best thing about my design, this design that I'm doing, is everything is so modular. I don't need the batteries to be ready to be fully finished and, you know, my prototyping phase to be over, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I, uh, I didn't consider that when I was building this, but it's definitely the biggest, you know, the biggest positive for this design is even if you don't have the batteries it doesn't matter the batteries are the expensive part like uh, I broke down the cost of all the other parts required it's cheap like all of these parts are cheap it's only the batteries that are hard so you can build one of these walls you know the the um, plywood or you know particle board the drywall every single part you need you can buy all of them and then slowly buy your batteries and put them in. Uh, no one else can do that. No other design has this versatility. And I'm not having any kind of heat buildup problems that I was really worried about. Because that was my biggest concern is that these, these systems will heat up. But if I have seven of these in parallel, then I'll have an insane amount of power. I can have any size of battery I want. Any Any amp hour size battery and I can rapidly change them out at the drop of a hat I am you know I like oh I don't like this battery it's gone doesn't matter doesn't affect the system see like the system's running like 900 watts right now it's it's running running high drain right now and I'll just say oh I don't want this take it out and this one is being utilized right each, each battery is being utilized because everything's in parallel. So like even this guy, even though there's no other ones in his row, doesn't matter. He is, you know, he's, his current flows. That is, this thing is amazing. The only downside to my system is I don't have individual resistors. But I did design and think up a way of solving that. But I'm going to solve that much later in the future because it's a... Uh, it's a lot of work to build all these tiny little button fuses. They're like button batteries and you use a spring and two metal plates and a 3D printer. It'd be pretty sick. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. So yeah, I'm uh, stoked. I'm stoked. This thing is running. Running good. No heat on there. Slightly warm, slightly warm, a little bit warmer there. It's right here, so the heat is traveling, so it's definitely here that the problem is. These connectors are where the heat is building up. Oh, right here as well. Yep, a little bit there, all right. That's okay. <clears throat> a lot of bad batteries, a lot of, well, they're not bad, but they're bad. You know, I've, I've found a few that are uh, definitely cooked, cooked gooses. I need to get my little kachink guy so I can uh, create my own connections. I need to buy a whole bunch of nickel plating, this, um, this metal, these metal tabs. I need to buy a whole bunch of that and then get a little kachink guy and then uh, start building my own pairs of two using maybe all these. I don't know. And all those back there need to be repaired. I could solder them, but forget that. You know, it's I oh yeah, I got so many different projects on the go. I'm just happy that I'm able to get this to where it is. 27. Here's a cool thing. So we'll, we'll turn it off, right? It's too bad you can barely see. Actually, you can. Yeah. My camera's Kind of shitty. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So I'll turn it off. Alright. It was at 27, and it'll... Well, I forget the terminology for this, but my old um, crystal cell battery research I encountered as well, so where it just pops back up in voltage slowly. Which is um, kind of neat. See, it's already gone up. It was at 27, it's already at 28.2 right away. It just, it looks like it's charging itself up, but it's not, it's just a, it's just a, you know, kind of a phenomenon of, ba phenomenon of batteries. They, um, 
they're just trying to resettle from such a high current drain. Hmm. Voltage drain? Current drain? Doesn't matter. But anyways, so yeah, that's that. And it's been 10 minutes, a little too long, but that's okay. Anyways, have a good day. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. Have a good day.